What's up guys, it's Jack from Diamond Wake here in a video that we haven't really done before. This is going to be an analyzing tricks video. So I'm going to take a look at some of my attempts at the heel side front side 360 today. And we're gonna see kind of my progression of my first couple attempts, what I changed to eventually land the trick and to look at stuff I could even improve on in the future. So if you like this kind of video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more of them in the future. These attempts that I'm about to look at are all going to be from my first day of trying this year. So we're gonna look through a couple of them, see if we see any patterns in them, and then I'll look back and I'll explain what I see at least to you guys. Here's this first one, we'll see what I do in this. Go up, completely did not get the handle. That was a bad one. Here's another one, right after it. See if I did anything different. Oh, oh, I got the handle that time. Completely unbalanced on the landing. Here's another one. Let's see. I look more confident at least. Oh, a lot more pop. Face plant. Got the handle though. I went wake to wake on that one. But just completely so unbalanced. I'm surprised I got the handle. Let's see, am I still going wake to wake after that attempt? I am. Capped the wake and completely missed it. I remember this one. This one was a good one. I got the hand on that. You see my hands fly up again? It's because I thought I almost landed it, which it was actually false confidence because I really was nowhere close at all. But let's look back at some patterns through a couple of these. So let's scrub slowly through this one and analyze very closely what I've been doing in all of these tricks. So this is a one wake attempt. I cut at the wake. It's a good cut for a one wake. I get to the wake. My front hand comes off very early, which I can get away with while I'm doing 360s because I don't need to pull that hard. But if I want to progress to 540s or 720s, I'm gonna need to pull with two hands for longer. But that's not the main issue here. The main issue is I go up and I instantly start to duck way down. My head looks straight down and my whole upper body goes flat. And this is something I did in every single attempt. And it's bad in two ways. First off, if I duck down, that's making the distance from my arms to the handle a lot farther. If I'm standing straight up, I can easily put my hands behind my back a lot easier than it would be if I ducked over. That's a lot more distance for my hands to travel, and that's why I wasn't getting the handle very consistently when I was doing this. And the second reason that this is bad is because on all of these, I didn't have a smooth landing because I was unbalanced. This one, I somehow get the handle, but because I'm so tucked over, all of my weight is towards that axis back where I've started leaning. So when I land, I get the handle, but I'm not level at all, so I just fall backwards. For each trick, I fell in a different direction, but all of them just was not a level landing. I wasn't level in the air, which is not set up for me to land level which is really the important thing. You can spin all you want in the air. If you don't land it, then it doesn't count for anything. Looking at all these clips, the thing that I took away the most that I was going to work on for the next day was keeping my head level and not looking down when I started the spin. Because if I kept my head level, I'd be able to keep my upper body level and I'd be able to spin more on a straight up plane instead of like, I guess an axis is the correct word. I could spin on a more vertical axis than more sideways angle. And it would also fix the handle being super far away issue and me not consistently getting the handle every time I tried to spin. And another thing that I tried for the second day was in all these clips, we had the ballast completely full in the boat. And I thought that I was getting too much pop for my own good because I didn't understand the trick yet. And the big wake was amplifying my problems. So if I took it down to a small wake, it could help me learn the trick more before I went full send. And this is a perfect example of it. This is another that I tried on that first day with just bad form and everything. And here the wake sent me way too high and I came down hard. I even went to a 540 there just because I had no control and I kept spinning in the air. So let's look at some day two clips. This is my first attempt on the second day after I had tried all of those. You can see by the different suit that it's on a different day. But this is my first attempt after watching those. Let's see how I did.
Literally first try, I'm able to get the handle and land it successfully. This gave me a lot of confidence going in to the whole rest of this day. Let's look at it a little bit closer, why I got that one compared to the other ones. I'm cutting not too hard because it's a one wake. I go up, my front hand does come up a little early. I didn't fix that trick as much, but I do know that I'm pulling at least a little bit with this left hand before I'm completely taking it off. I'm, I know that I'm not pulling with just my right hand based on feel. I know I give it a little tug, but I know I could probably tug more and it would look better. But other than that, going straight up, my head is looking very level. I'm not looking straight down and that is keeping my upper body very level. My legs are really the only thing that's bent here. So I'm pretty straight up and that makes the handle super easy for me to get and my balance is also kept in the air. So I'm able to come down. It is a little sketch. I do kind of have to ride it out a little bit, but way more balanced than any of the other attempts I took yesterday. And this set me up for success for the rest of this day. This was my next one I tried right after that. I did not get that one. This one, I went back to my old ways. I cut at the wake. I go up just fine. My head, starts to duck down a little bit. I'm not looking as straight up as I was in that first one. And my balance is completely thrown off. You can see I'm kind of spinning on an axis that's a little slanted, maybe like a 30 to 45 degree angle instead of that straight up spin that I'm looking for. And because of it, I get the handle, but I'm not balanced when I come down. So I knew I did that wrong as soon as I did it because it didn't feel good. It didn't feel like the rest of them. So in my head, I was thinking that's what I have to fix for this next trick. So let's see how my next trick looked after I told myself to not crash like I did in that other one. A lot smoother cut at the wake. That looked a little unbalanced, but I was able to pull it out somehow. Let's see, why did it look so weird? I go up. Okay, I think it's because my board is so slanted right here. I'm really riding the wake up and I'm really pulling my left leg up really high. So I think that's why my board went everywhere. I also ducked down a lot. My head looks down way too much for this one. I really should not have landed this one. This is just really bad form. It looks really bad. There's a dog barking outside. I'm somehow able to pull it out at the end, but this one was done with very bad form. So that, that also told me in my head that I should be changing something up for my next trick because I landed it, but it didn't look good and I can do better. Especially when I'm learning the trick, I want to correct the stuff more instead of just saying that I can do it and then getting it very inconsistently with bad form. This next one, I think I corrected myself a lot better and it looks a lot better. Forget everything I just said. I'm thinking way too far ahead of myself. This one, I could tell you, just I don't even need to go in slow motion. I didn't pop enough and I ducked down. Yeah, my head was way ducked down. I wasn't looking for anything. I didn't pop enough. That was just a bad attempt. Completely just ignore that attempt. It's awful. This attempt should be pretty good. We'll see. That's the one I was thinking of. Okay, here we go. That one felt smooth. That one was really good. I rode up the wake very nicely. I'm standing super tall. This one, I thought about keeping my legs straight up and basically standing while I spin. Instead of having just my upper body up and my legs bent, I tried to keep my legs straight and see how it affected it. And that felt so smooth in the air. I knew at about this point that I was gonna land it and I came down smoother than I had on any other one. I'm getting the handle very easily. You can see I'm even starting to spot the landing because I'm getting so comfortable. I'm looking down at the water right now. I'm very level. That was a very good one to watch. Although it was a little sketch on the right out, but we'll kind of ignore that because I felt really good after that one. This one I think is my best fundamentally that I've done ever, possibly ever. I may have done better ones that we have had off camera, but this one is my favorite one to watch and you'll see why in a little bit. That is just so clean. I think I do basically everything right here it looked super smooth, it felt super smooth. I really focused on that keeping my legs straight thing in the air. I come up so tall. I feel like I'm pushing my hips to the handle at this point. Like I have my hips out like this. I don't know if that's really something that I actually did or I felt like I did, but I'm standing super tall. I'm able to get the handle super quickly. I'm so balanced in the air 
that that was my first one where I didn't really need to ride it out super hard to try and save it. I was able to just land how I was and it was really smooth. That one gave me a lot of confidence. This next one was my first attempt going wake to wake after landing all those one wakes. And we'll see how I did in this one. Ouch, that one hurt a lot. Front edges are probably the worst. And I will argue in the comments if you're willing to <laughs> say no. Why did I fall face first at the end? I go up, I'm staying kind of level. I'm pretty bent over. All my, okay, that's something weird. I'm rotating along an axis more at the direction I go up the wake, I think. I go up the wake like on this angle and my board stays at that angle while I spin on that. I think that might be part of why I'm thrown off there, but I've also noticed that I still do that to this day and I still land the majority of the 360s I do. So that's not something I think I really need to change that much, but it's something I need to keep in mind so that I don't face plant like this. It also might be because when I came down, I had all my weight over my toes because I was leaning in the middle of the flip, I bent over. So all my weight was there. And so when I came down, the weight stayed there and I caught my edge. So the next one I was thinking, don't keep your weight on your toes. That came out so slow. The only thing I was thinking about in this one was keep my weight level and don't catch an edge. My first wake to wake heel front three. I am stoked as you can see in the video. And you can also tell by the title of the video, that's how I know what it is. I was so pumped to land this because I had been trying this trick for years. I actually gave up trying it last year because I tried so hard the year before and I was like, I'm not landing this. I went to the heel side back roll instead. I was so happy to land this. It really fundamentally could have looked better, but I didn't care. I just landed my first heel front three wake to wake. I bent over a ton. I got the handle somehow, but I think because I had done it so many times, I had landed the one wakes. I had even done it pretty not clean a couple times. I was able to come out of it somehow and I rode out of it and I was so happy. As you can see by the title of this one, you know I'm gonna land it, but let's see how it looks. That one looked a whole lot better in the air. I did catch a little bit of the wake at the end, but that one felt very clean and it felt a lot better than that first one. Cause I cut in at the wake, I stayed a lot more level in the air. I wasn't looking down as much I'm not as far on the tilted axis as I was in the other one. And I'm able to come down with my weight even and right away with no issues. Also happy that I landed it. So after I landed those two, I was like, okay, I landed two in a row. I should be set. I'm just gonna try a couple more of these, see how consistent I can be. And I think I stayed pretty consistent in the landing part, not so much the whole looking good thing. Cause this one looked pretty weird in the air, but I still rode out of it. Cause I come up at the wake. I bend over quite a lot at the beginning, but I stand up here. I start to realize that I'm bending over. So I stand up and I think that weight shift helped me to not land completely on my face and catch an edge again, because I'm able to balance myself with that back arm once I get to the landing and I'm able to ride it out just fine. I'm a little surprised I landed it, but I'm happy I did. Let's see, did I change anything in this next one? Okay, I did not pop as much, but still wrote it out and it was clean. So I guess I'll take it. This was my last three of the day, I think. That one also low and a little weird, but still wrote it out. So at this point I feel very consistent in my threes and I feel like I can land them even when I'm not doing everything perfectly. At this point, at the end of this day, I feel really good about my threes. So after looking at those clips, we rode the next day on our cable boards. That's a video that you'll see coming in the near future. Be sure to check it out. This is your little sneak peek to it actually. So I tried a couple threes in that video with a cable board on. So that's gonna be a lot more slippery of a landing. 
It's a lot harder to edge through the wake because there's no fins on the board. Also, we had the ballast completely full, so I had no more small wake and I had all the odds against me with the weird board. So let's see how I fared in this three after looking at all the ones from yesterday. Very clean. I feel like through that one, I was able to fix all the issues that I had from yesterday. I was able to ride it smooth up the wake. Very clean in the air. I'm standing very tall at this point. I'm only looking down a little bit, but I think that's, I'm spotting the landing right here. That is, that's a very good thing. I don't even think about doing it. I just kind of do it, which I guess is an aerial awareness thing. And it's a good thing I picked it up. I don't have to really think about it, but that was a very clean three in the end. I'm able to ride it out on my edge. I don't need to put my hand out to stabilize me. That one felt really good and it looked really good, especially being on a cable board. So that is gonna be the video of me analyzing some of my 360s. I hope you enjoyed going through this journey with me. If you liked these kind of videos or you'd like to see more of them, please leave a like and let us know. I'd be happy to do them. We do this without making videos out of them. We like to watch ourselves. And if you guys like to watch us, watch ourselves. Leave a like, let us know. This is a very fun video to make. Comment down below, leave a like, and subscribe for more content in the future. Peace.